going public is not for every company. Your report card comes every three months and your outside investors who put faith in you are really counting on a certain level of performance. When you go public, you're facing what I like to say is an endless series of quarters. You have to have a business model that is proven, that is durable. Because it's important to recognize when you're a public company, you have taken in funds from people who don't know you. You have to build a level of trust with them. They have to have trust in you. And that is primarily achieved by achieving the business models, but making sure your operation has the rigor, the governance in place to withstand the public scrutiny. For a public company to be successful, you have to understand the difference is quite dramatic from running a private company. The most dramatic difference is the accounting, right? You have to have the finance and accounting structure in place with a rigor and a discipline that does not typically exist in a private company setting. So I would never judge the success of the company of its life history and whether it's in public or not. And that is not for everybody to do. So the good public companies have a business model that's proven, that's repeatable, and they can grow on a consistent basis. Hey YouTubers, are you looking to land your dream gig or start your own business? Well, you've found the right place. You can learn from fellow entrepreneurs and peers that are embarking on their own journeys. Subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to join CNBC on the journey to make it. We're going to motivate and inspire you, but you'll have to bring the fire.